Hello everyone, Bats2011 here, and I'm going to be showing you how to easily defeat the Reaper in Persona 5 Royale. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do, save your game before doing this, because uh, we're going to be going to safe mode. Uh, if you go to safe mode, it'll tell you, uh, and I'll show you right here, once you go to safe mode, you cannot exit safe mode, you're stuck in safe mode. Um, so you're going to want to save your game beforehand, because once we beat the Reaper and you get the trophy, you're going to reload your file. Um, close out the application, reload your file, and that way um, it's like you never beat him, but you do have the trophy. So uh, a couple things before doing this as well is um, the Reaper, if you don't know what the Reaper is, he's uh, an enemy in the game that pops up in mementos if you're just sitting around. Uh, he, They did kind of change how he you can fight him in Persona 5 Royale, because in Persona 5 you could wait till flu season, uh, wait for him to cast a spear on himself, and then he ends up killing himself after a couple turns. Persona 5 Royale, flu season has no effect on him, you have to beat him the good old fashioned way, which nobody's got time for that, he's too tough. Uh, I mean, he, it's possible, but it's a pain in the ass. So uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to wait till you hear the chains in the background. Then you're going to go find the Reaper. A disclaimer for this, do not attack the Reaper. Let him attack you. Uh, because if he attacks you, uh, he only gets one move per, per turn. If you attack him, he can possibly do more turns uh, or more moves per move turn set or whatever. However you pronounce that, I can't do words today. Uh, so he has two moves that he'll do. He'll do Concentrate, and then I think Megalodon. Um, a little hint for this is you're going to want to get the Legacy um, pack from the PlayStation Store. The Legacy pack comes with everything from Persona 5 um, DLC-wise. So you'll get all the costumes, you'll get uh, specific Personas, uh, you'll get um, Messiah Picaro, uh, from it, which is a level 90 persona, um, really helpful. Um, so you're going to want to use that with Joker. And uh, as far as the other characters that you have, it doesn't really matter. You're just going to want uh, like Mona or somebody who can heal and uh, heal the whole party. So uh, like I said, he has two moves, uh, Concentrate and Megalodon or whatever. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, you're going to do pretty much attacks over and over and over again with uh, your characters. He's going to concentrate. When he concentrates, uh, keep attacking him because he's going to do the same amount of damage as he would have, or pretty close to the same amount of damage if you guard. Uh, so you'll still have to heal. So I, I would just attack that whole phase. Um, so you'll attack when he concentrates. Uh, he'll hit you with his move, uh, which is going to take out a lot of damage. So as soon as you do that, have your main healer heal, everybody else attack. Uh, he's going to concentrate again, have everybody attack, then he'll hit you with the move, uh, have your main healer heal, everybody attack again, and you're just going to kind of rinse and repeat that over and over until he's beat. Uh, be sure to bring some SP potions, some stuff that's going to recover SP. If you do have one that I did have to use 200 SP um, recoveries for Joker, and I had to use one that recovers SP for everybody in my party. Um, instead of switching out everybody, I was like, hey, I'll just use this. So um, it's not too bad, but once you beat him, um, you d will get the trophy for beating him. Um, you don't get too much else other than a whole bunch of experience points and item that you don't really need. So um, yeah, just reload your file after that and you should be all set. I won't have you watch the whole fight just because um, there's nothing really different as far as what you're doing beginning and what you're doing towards the end. It's the same exact thing. You're just rinsing and repeating. And there, after you beat him, there's no cinemas or anything like that. It's just like a regular person. So uh, won't have you watch the whole 8 minutes or 15 minutes of it. But the, the whole fight altogether does take about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how strong you are in comparison to the Reaper. Um, I did this a little bit late game, so uh, I did this in the cruise ship palace. Um probably best do a little bit late that way you have a good amount of hp um the stronger you are uh less damage he's going to do against you but uh like i said go to safe mode be sure to save your game before going to safe mode so that you can uh reload your file and not be stuck in safe mode unless you want to stay in safe mode then uh, all more power to you but uh if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments below i'll keep the uh, persona videos coming and uh 
If you want to, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you want to see some more Persona stuff, my review for Persona 5 Royale hopefully will be coming in the next coming weeks uh, once I get the Platinum. So um, be sure to subscribe so you guys can take a look at that. And uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. You guys have a great rest of your day.